To show you guys the real power of the Pi KVM, I decided to go remote and I'm in a completely different building and on a completely different network. And what we're gonna do is remote into the Pi KVM and we're gonna access all the devices that you see there on the table. And what's happening here is those devices are pushing their video into the traditional KVM, which is acting as a switch. And the KVM output is then going into the Pi KVM. The Pi KVM has an operating system that's gonna emulate the video, and we're gonna access that operating system through the internet from anywhere in the world. To get this started, what we really need to do though is to set up a VPN between our browser here and the Pi so that we have secure data transmission. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the screen share. I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So now you should be seeing Tailscale, and that's the application that we use to create the VPN. And once you have it established, all you need to do is highlight your IP and paste that here into your browser. Now we're actually logging into the Pi KVM and using its browser application there in the studio. So we're gonna click on KVM, and now we actually have an input selected on the KVM that's not active. I think it's input number two. So let's go over to input number three. And now we're on the Lenovo Yoga. So you can see here, I'm gonna click in, and then now you can see on my screen, as well as a yoga, we're controlling them both in real time. Let's go ahead and go to the next input here, which is going to be the MacBook Pro. And the same thing, you can control it. This is completely agnostic of which operating system that you have. Now let's go over here to number five, which should be our DVR. And there's Kevin in the back of the studio making sure everything's working okay. Now in the DVR, you also have mouse control. So if you want to highlight a different camera, you can go ahead and make that full screen. You can come back out, you can do multi-view. You, know, you have complete control of the DVR. Now let's switch over here to number six. And input six here is the miner which we're subbing in for a server or a regular desktop computer. And the real power of the Pi KVM is that you can actually get complete BIOS control. So let's go ahead and restart this computer. And for this motherboard, we didn't use the delete key in order to get into the BIOS. And it's an older cell around processor. It's going to take a second here, like the other segments, the other miners that we used. Or with the boot up screen, and a second here will be into the BIOS. There you go. See, now we have full BIOS control. I'm going to go ahead and stop the screen share here. Just hit escape to get out of the Pi KVM and into your normal local desktop. Remove that from the scene, and then now we're back on a regular screen share. A couple things about this setup. One is it's not super easy. So we're making the third video of this series, a complete tutorial on how to set this up. We did have to make some minor modifications to the code, and we'll show you guys how to do that as well. It's nothing daunting, very simple. Also, you may have noticed there is quite a bit of latency. So I would not recommend this for a daily solution. Uh, the latency is kind of a buildup between the networks and all the different layers that we have going on. So we have a screen share, we have a screen capture, we're on a different network, we have two different VPNs between these connections. So there's a whole lot of latency that we have here. If you're just on your local network and say you have it in a server room and you wanna use a Pi KVM you know, on the other side of the house, that's completely acceptable. There's still gonna be some lag. You're not gonna want a game, but it's definitely a usable solution. Or if you happen to be traveling, this happens to be a really great solution. If you're traveling, you need to grab a file from the computer that you may have forgotten on the desktop or the server. All right, we're gonna go ahead and close this down. I'm gonna go back into the studio to wrap this video up. We'll be right back. All right, so we're back in the studio. And as you can see, there's just a ton of different configurations for these KVMs. If you have any questions, leave us a comment here on YouTube. We love engagement or you can come visit us at buytsmart.com for personalized service. We have an intake form and a ticketing system, and we get back to all of our open responses within one business day. Sometimes faster if Michael would just get off of his Emma Stone infatuation. <laughs>